So a lot of people ask us, what gets you through the morning on a camping trip? Well, I've been eating bushwhacker oats for five years now. I'll show you what it is. <laughs> it's a thick blend of oatmeal that you can stir. Thick. <laughs> so thick. You know it's thick because you can't even stir it quick. It's somewhat like a mortar. A cup of oats in there, about three tablespoons of powdered peanut butter, a cup of protein powder, and a full dehydrated banana. And you put the water in, and then you stir it like a cauldron. Get that thick cement into you. Rumor has it you can live off one pot of oats for two days. Last night we slept on the portage leaving Dixon going to Bonfield. It was a 5.5 kilometer portage. We pinched off about 49 kilometers and did 21 portages. Today we head to Opiongo and then down to Lake of Lake of Rivers and then onwards to Tanamacoon. It's gonna be a little different this part of the trip. It's a lot more populated, but it's nice. That's part of the Minas Lake. You get a little bit of everything in the Algonquin Park. We have made it to Opiango and the portage is just a monster potential campsite spot. We're en route across Opiango Lake and we stop for a quick bite to eat. For those who don't know, Opiango is the largest lake in Algonquin. From end to end, it's about 16 kilometers. Opiango is also used as an access point for people wanting to get into the backcountry. So there are water taxis that take people across into those lakes that we kind of just came from. It's a really nice lake. We're just having a little ice cream before we head out to our portage. We are currently on the three kilometer portage between Lake Opiango and Spruill Lake, making our way down to Lake of Two Rivers and the Madawaska River. It's been a pretty, uh, pretty nice hike. So we've hit a bit of a rough patch on a portage. Now do I get on? I need to get to the next checkpoint down there. Huh? One, two, three. Alright, so we made it to the beach on Kearney Lake. And we're about to start the 1.1 kilometer portage over into Whitefish. And we get to cross Highway 60 on this one. Pretty dangerous, you gotta make sure you're to look both ways on this one. Nope, nope. <laughs> okay, go, go, go! Just crossing Highway 60, acting casual, onwards into the abyss. We're actually just on our way to Whitefish Lake. We are on Lake of Two Rivers, making our way to Tanamacoon via the Madawaska. So we're just making our way to the 190 meter portage along the Madawaska River and we're gonna camp there tonight and just try to get up really early tomorrow. I think we, we have ourselves a bit of a, a race for time, but we have quite a quite a haul to do on our last day where we thought originally it wasn't that long and we would maybe finish midday. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be an early morning, but we're gonna just try to find a good site for tonight to make sure that we can get a good night's sleep. So we're just on the 190 meter portage. 
walking our way upriver a little bit to find ourselves a spot to set up our 8x8 tent tonight. That's all we really need. A spot big enough to put our tent. Semi-flat. Semi-flat. Doesn't have to be fully flat. Not fully. We're not greedy. And then we're gonna have a couple pops. We just love camping on four top. It's, it's a new thing to do. It's a lifestyle. And just disclaimer to everyone, we, we did get permits. We just haven't been able to get to our campsites every night. <laughs> they were ambitious goals. Not leaving a trace. Can't have a campfire. Good morning. It is the morning of day nine and we have a big day ahead of us. So we were up at 4.30 this morning. It's just starting to get light now. It's about 5.30 and we're just packing our final things and getting on the river. And uh, we're just gonna push hard today. It's basically what we've been used to for this entire trip, which is paddle, portage, repeat, and try to enjoy a few things along the way, you know? Aside from that, our bodies are feeling pretty sore. Tylenol is gonna hopefully help us get through the final stretch. That and just sheer determination to finish the meanest link. Did I come back for you or? <laughs> yeah, So we just accidentally ran into a beaver. We had Literally ran into a beaver. Noah sees a little wake in front of the canoe and all before we had any time to react, it like I guess was coming closer to the surface. It's back hit the front of our canoe and like popped us up and it freaked out. It takes off. Oh no, we opened up a new waterway over here. We are just heading out to Camp Pathfinder to see what's up, pay our respects. We're on Source Lake. We see a bunch of red canoes. We have a little inkling that that could be Camp Pathfinder. Day 37. Day 37? Yeah, they went. Oh, you can't see that Went to Fort Severn, North Northern Community, Ontario. 37 days we started in Wendigo Lake. We had a food drop about halfway through. We did uh, Wendigo, Shade, Severn Rivers, and here we are now. We go oh, it's that's so awesome. cool. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go up. Yeah. These are just all maps? Yeah, these are all our maps. Oh my god. Look at them. We have a bunch of Imabi maps. You can't go there, right? You guys will help. Um, these are just kind of, these, these are completely off right now. Um, so we, we hadn't built them all here. Pretty much, there's a guy named Jack Hurley um, from Dwight. And he built our boats for a super long time. But he got older and slower. And so we had to like start building our own. So we built this. And we had a couple people take some shop, like some shop classes, to learn what to learn do from him. And then we've been passing it down for much for like four or five years. That's awesome. Wow. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot. And sorry, what was your name again? Jack. Jack. Awesome. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much for the tour. No problem. Be safe. Yeah. We will. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a big moment for us. We're about to embark on the final portage over one kilometer that we know of that we know of so it's a pretty exciting moment for us 1300 meters 
Let's knock this one out. Let's just go home. We've made our way back to the Ox Tongue River. We just left Tea Lake and portaged around the dam. That wasn't great for the shot. So we found our site for the night. We decided to camp. We're about five kilometers away from the end. And we figured this would be a much nicer last night for Noah in Ontario before he has to fly back to Halifax. I don't think my back has ever been this sore. I am feeling it. It's day 10 on our Minas Link adventure. We stayed last night on the Ox Tongue River Provincial Park. I think we're both looking forward to some showers, I think number one, and no portages. So guys, we got some big news here. The boys have finally made it to the end of the Oxtongue River and into Oxtongue Lake, which means we are very close to finishing this trip. Seems like day one was a, a few trips ago. Like it doesn't feel like it was it was nine days ago. Day one was like over 400 kilometers ago. Yeah, feels crazy. But we're gonna try to enjoy these last strokes before we get to the dock. And we can officially say we completed the meanest link. Mm -hmm.